please and raise your right hand. I will begin by swearing you in. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you are about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Mr. Chairman, before we hear from the witnesses, I have a parliamentary inquiry. The gentleman will state her parliamentary inquiry. Mr. Chairman, when can we anticipate a response to our November 9th letter requesting certain individual witnesses to be called? The gentleman sh gentlewoman should be aware that three of the witnesses the minority has requested are scheduled for next week. Uh, Those were further? your witnesses, Mr. Chairman. What about the additional six witnesses? Um, the gentlewoman may inquire about additional witnesses or make a request for a vote on additional witnesses following the witness testimony. And Mr. Chairman, I have a point of order under HRES 660. The gentlewoman will state her point of order. Mr. Chairman, will you be prohibiting witnesses from answering members' questions as you have in the closed-door depositions? Uh, as the gentlewoman should know, if she was present for the deposition. Which I was. Mr. For Chairman. some of them, yes. Correct. Um, the, uh, the only times I prevented witnesses from answering questions, uh, along with their counsel, was when it was apparent that members were seeking to out the whistleblower. We will do everything necessary to protect the whistleblower's identity, uh, and I'm disturbed to hear members of the committee who have in the past voiced strong support for whistleblower protections seek to undermine those protections by outing the whistleblower. So Mr. Provide, Chairman, so only one member and their staff the on this will, committee has direct knowledge of the identity of the whistleblower. The will suspend. You asked a parliamentary inquiry, and I am responding, or a point of order, and I am responding. We will not permit the outing of the whistleblower, and questions along those lines, counsel will inform their clients not to respond to. I seek recognition <coughs> to make a motion that we actually subpoena the whistleblower for a closed-door secret uh, deposition so that the questions that should be appropriately asked of the whistleblower <coughs> by our side and your side uh, maybe ask, and I would prefer that rather than <clears throat> it be your single decision, that the uh, committee speak to that issue rather than just the chairman. And I move that we. Uh, I, I, I uh, think the chairman. Um, it won't be my single subpoena decision. Subpoena the whistleblower. Skeptically about foreign aid and expressing concerns about foreign corruption. Mr. Chairman, do you, do you anticipate when we would vote what on that? What purpose does Mr. Jordan seek recognition? Just to ask a, a clarifying question: Do you anticipate when we might vote on? The ability to have the whistleblower in front of us, something you, of the 435 members of Congress, you are the only member who knows who that individual is, and your staff is the only staff of any member of Congress who's had a chance to talk with that individual. We would like that opportunity. When might that happen in this proceeding today? First, as the gentleman knows, that's a false statement. I do not know the identity of the whistleblower, and I'm determined to make sure that identity is protected. Third hand and even fourth hand rumors and innuendo. 